So this is the time that we're on. So we're really about to play and pretend like the footage you just showed is the footage I'm talking about. Like the footage you just showed is what I'm so upset about. You really think you try to convince people and you really think that I'm mad that some random girl came up to you at a party. That's not what I'm mad about. That's not what I'm questioning this entire relationship about. I'm mad about you waking up in the bed with a girl and it was caught on our footage from our bedroom. That's what I'm mad about. And that's what I'm about to show because I told you to show it, but now you're continuously showing other things and giving the entire world a runaround. Why are you trying to make it a thing that I posted it on our page? I posted it on our page because I wanted our fans, our fans to know. I'm not the one who brought this freaking public in the first place though you did so remember that don't be mad where i'm posting the videos at just remember who decided to make this a public thing you did i'm not going anywhere because you told me this you told me if i gave you this ass what am i just supposed to give a am i just supposed to get back because i gave it to you because this is some bullshit i'm not fucking going anywhere this is Go ahead and call the cops. Go ahead and call. I'm gonna call the cops. Give me my phone. I'm gonna call that in the start. Do I didn't start worse than the cops? They ain't gonna give a fuck about no cops. Don't you call the police. I don't want the cops. Call the police. Go ahead and call the police. You wanna call the police? I'll call the police. You want me to leave? I'll leave. I'll leave, but I'm taking all this shit with me. Okay, you want me to leave? I'm not walking out of here empty handed. I got a lot of Imagine my freaking surprise. Imagine how violated I feel when I see this girl not only laid up with my girlfriend in the bed, but then as she's leaving, trying to take my stuff. Does this seem like some random chick to you? Does this seem like some girl who like doesn't, it isn't owed anything? That's like some side chick type shit. Like, I, and I'm supposed to believe that this girl is just some random girl. She had the nerve to walk into my closet and grab one of my freaking Louis Vuitton bags. Like, what, what did Easy promise her? You know what I'm saying? Like, really think about that. This is, this is what's going through my head. Like, what did my girlfriend promise this random girl to make her feel comfortable enough and like it was owed to her. Oh, well, oh, cool, I gotta leave now? Okay, cool, I'm gonna go grab one of these. With my possessions, something that I worked hard for. Bro. And then Easy has the nerve to literally, as I pull up to the house, literally be like, oh no, it's, it's just a fan, it's a fan. Does this look like a fan to you? Like a fan? Do I look like an idiot to you? She's trying to steal my stuff? 
And then she has the nerve, bro. She literally sees me, pulls up, and doesn't bat an eye. The disrespect. I feel like that part, that, that part really got me, bro. She doesn't bat an eye at her girlfriend. Now, this is this is this random fan. No, what it feels like is a fucking side chick. That's what it feels like. It feels like somebody who felt like she deserved to be here. Deserved my things. Literally talking all loud, yelling in my neighborhood like she belongs here and doesn't care, bro. This is the type of chick that you're literally blowing up our entire relationship over. But I'm crazy, right? I, I'm the one that's tripping. This relationship was violated. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Like the part that really, I feel like hurts me the most, Easy's my best friend. Like, forget this girl. Let's take this girl out of the equation completely. Like, to be, I, the trust that you have in your best friend is just different, bro. Like, it's different. It's not like, I've never trusted anybody in my life. Like, none of my other relationships, the way that I trust Easy, the amount of trust that I put into her is insane. But to feel violated and disrespected by my best friend, like, come on, Easy. Like, we came way too far for this. Like, I've been running this in my head over and over. I've been running the whole situation from walking, pulling up and seeing this girl walking down the driveway, sw swinging her shoes around and saying, I'm not leaving, like, to the, the every ang angle I could see, zooming into the footage, like, Trying to make sense of this. Literally trying to make sense of this. And I'm embarrassed, bro. Like, this is embarrassing. Y'all think I want this? Like, y'all think I really want to sit here and break down something that is this fucking hurtful to y'all? Bro, I didn't ask for any of this. I didn't ask for any of this, bro. Like, I don't know... <laughs> No one's about to convince me that I'm being dramatic, and especially you, Easy, because you're the only one in the hot seat right now. You're the only one that has a reason to try to say that I'm dramatic. This is not dramatic, okay? You have some serious reflecting and explaining to do. That's all I have to say, because there's no way in hell that I would ever, ever in my life have some dude in my bed, I don't care how he got there and then act like you don't have something to question, okay? So next time you wanna bring something public, maybe make sure you have everything to back it up because this ain't adding up. It is not adding up.